afternoon. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from St. Petersburg today. We're visiting Sunken Gardens where they're excited about a, a couple of their iconic images, if you will. Their iconic flamingos and their iconic sign out front. We're talking about both of those icons today. Jennifer is here to tell us, let's, let's start with that sign. So that roadside attraction, it kind of screams old nostalgic roadside attraction, right? Absolutely, and we are one of the first and one of the last roadside attractions here in Florida. So we're really proud to have this here back again. So let's we'll look at the before. This is a great picture, for obviously, from the 1960s, early 1960s. And this was like neon, right? Absolutely, it was neon. And in fact, the family tell in one of the videos in our History Center of seeing it lit up for the first time. And you would see, we wish we could have recreated this, but you could see the neon start from the bottom blooms oh, yeah. and go all the way oh, up. Nice. Just, you know, it was the glory days of neon. We can't quite do the same things with our restrictions today, but it's yep. still incredible at night. Well, it's high maintenance and, it was, and it's been refurbished time and again over the yes. decades. But finally, you, you have it rebuilt and here it is and the, and we got we got here early enough this morning to still see it in the in the nighttime mm. and it is magnificent once again and it's all now led and it's efficient but it's still that nostalgic roadside mark. Yes, and it's massive. I mean, it's one of those things that really just calls you to the gardens as it was meant to do originally in 1960 when we believe it was put up. Yeah, I know you guys are excited to have that. Oh, we love brand it. Brand new old sign. Yes, we're honored to continue the tradition that the Turners started. So from the iconic sign to those iconic pink birds, Give me a little history. They're Chilean flamingos, and they've been a part of Sunken Gardens since the 50s. Right. Flamingos have been a part of Sunken Gardens since the mid-50s, and we've kept that tradition going. We were really lucky that the Sunken Gardens Forever Foundation helped raise the money for us to restock the flock several years ago, and we're so happy to have them here where everyone can enjoy them. And we're celebrating them this Sunday with the Flamingo Festival. Absolutely, the Flamingo Festival will have kids crafts and games by Great Explorations. We'll have amazing steel drum music playing. So it's gonna be a nice, fun vibe. So yeah. you gotta come on down. Wear pink, maybe? Wear pink, you might get a dollar <laughs> off. Oh, there, oh, there you go, look at that. It is from noon to 4.30, and do I need advanced tickets for anything to explore Sunken Gardens? No, no advanced tickets, just come on down. We may have, you know, some lines. It's definitely an attraction. People are attracted to Sunken Gardens, so be patient. Also, you know, you may want to carpool. You know, okay. just, you know, parking, parking is, limited. is limited all throughout St. Pete, it seems, these yeah. days. So Basically, in Florida, parking is limited. You got it. <laughs> it goes without saying. Uh, thank you very much, Deborah. Thank I appreciate you. It. There you go, folks. Look for the old new sign, and you can come visit the Sunken Gardens and the Flamingo Festival this Sunday noon to 4.30. In St. Petersburg, Charlie Belcher, Fox 13 News.